And we were uh, told about the program as kind of a two-part program. We're going to learn about healthy eating through ABCs. Um, and then we're going to do an exercise program, mindfulness, um, breathing, yoga, things like that. I was like, that's perfect. The program combines a fun nutrition lessons, active playing, and simple mindful activities such as yoga moments and breathing, and also you know how to make connections with their feelings. And then we also provide the resources support to the parents so they can continue these you know behaviors at home. Being able to have the materials that you give me to show him visual aspects to me trying to teach these hard lessons has been really beneficial for him actually absorbing the information. When we can bring in fruits and vegetables for them to touch, to feel, to smell, using all those senses, um, it really makes a connection and it, um, it's learning hands-on and in that moment. They can learn more and we can offer the correct recommendations for how to keep themselves healthy in the future and how they can raise their kids to be healthier. So we track every kid's behaviors, emotions, or even their stress level, like we use something called high cortisol. We also talk with the teacher's parents about what they see, you know, about the kid's behaviors and emotions. And we collect the parents and children's height, weight, and then we take their finger scan to measure their fruit and vegetable consumption. We give them a activity monitor that they wear around their waist and it measures their intensity and level of activity each day. And then there's a ho optional hair sample. We're trying to measure like the stress levels in the children. Uh, the kids wear aprons and hats and they're official taste testers. Um, and um, we've had a, a lot of fun and, and families have told us that their, their children are just picky eaters when it comes to those fruits and vegetables at home. So last night we had a bag of steamed mixed vegetables for dinner and the white broccoli, he was excited to actually eat them. But then he told his brother, you need to eat your vegetables because they're good for you. It's really important to understand what we're feeding our kids and how it affects the way their internal systems grow and develop. Keeping it basic for them to build the blocks regularly. I mean, you don't build a house on sand. You build a house on a foundation. For me, it means leading with heart, make a difference, and using science to lift up kids and their families. I'm Dr. Lin, and I'm proud of building a healthier generation for the U.S.